The vaccine is out. People are getting inoculated. That's great news. But wait, new strains of the virus are coming out of Europe and Africa. Which companies are best prepared for this? Let's talk about it. Are the U.S. to release COVID-19 doses and push for older Americans to get shots? Now, there was a um, there was a story prior to this that um, we were going to hold back on some of the shots that were out there so that we could get the shots out to American people. I was at the doctor today. Um, I had an appointment with my doctor, and I saw the long line. And I'm a vet, so I was at the VA. I saw a long line of older vets today to get their shots at the VA. All right, so the VA is pushing the shots out. Um, there was talk about holding back some of the shots so that the distribution could get through. I think that the biggest thing about COVID-19 uh, shots right now, the vaccine, is the distribution, getting people uh, the shots. Do we have the ways to do that? Where we work right now, right across the street, was a, um, uh, a restaurant, which is now turned into a quick test. What is it? What's that word called um, for the um, COVID-19 test? The rapid test? There's a rapid test station right across the street from our office, all right, where you can go in, get the rapid test. I think they get you back the results the same day. So the, the testing is increasing. Um, the shots are out there. It all depends on now if we can get them out to the people. So the U.S. is going to release all of the doses, from what I understand, uh, that are out there to get people the shots. All right. And another story in this space is CureVac forms a COVID-19 vaccine alliance with Bayer. The stock is share. So now what companies are already out there? Pfizer, along with BioNTech, is out there. That was the first company to get a vaccine out to people. Then came Moderna, which is my stock of choice in this space, mRNA. Um, and now CureVac is coming out. AstraZeneca is out there. Johnson & Johnson is close to get out there. There's going to be five major players out there uh, with vaccines to get out to people. And some of them, you don't have to um, put them in as much cold and some of them is only one shot instead of two shots or instead of three shots. There's a lot going on in this space. But CureVac does form a vaccine alliance with Bayer, which is a big name in um, the, the, bio, the biotech field. All right. So that's, that could be good news. Now, I will bring out as well um, that there are stories of variations of the vaccine, and not the vaccine, but the virus coming out of Europe and also coming out of Africa. And mRNA, or Moderna, was one of the first companies that got the RNA, sort of like DNA for us, but RNA on the virus. And I think that they are the most poised to be able to come up with a different vaccination to adjust to uh, the different strains. And those, again, those two different strains are coming out of the UK and also coming out of Africa. So I talked a little bit about that last week in my coronavirus story about the different variations coming out. But I think Moderna is very well suited to be able to adjust and adapt to those very quickly. All right, let's get back into the software. All right, let's take a look at these stocks. mRNA is the top stock by VST in this space. Followed by, there's BioNTech, there's CureVac, and there's Pfizer. All right, so those are my stocks that I'm going to look at in this space today. Moderna, how about right now, one of the few undervalued stocks in the database, uh, trading at 128 with a value of 269. That's the kind of stock that I like. Relative value is above one, beautifully above one, which is really why I like Moderna it wasn't my choice to say that. It was by the analysis of the VectorVest software. The stock is moving up with RT at 1.36. Look at that earnings per share, $10, growing their earnings. How about that's the second highest earnings per share in my list and growing their earnings by the fastest the, the fastest uh, up up movement in growth uh, earnings growth rate at 47%. Biontech, 
105 with a value of 221. Also undervalued, good upside potential. The safety is not there, though. Relative safety is below one. The stock is in an uptrend. Good earnings per share. Uh, growing there is at a clip of 30%. CureVac. So this is the company that's teaming up with Bayer, uh, trading at 100 with a value of 93. Upside potential is there with RV above one. The safety is below one. It's a little bit more risky stock, just like Biotech, but it is in an uptrend. Good earnings per share, good positive earnings per share, growing near earnings at a clip of 22. Pfizer, the first company that came out with a vaccine, trading at 36, value of 34. Upside potential, not there. Safety, not there. And it's not moving up in price right now. Negative earnings growth rate with positive earnings per share. Hmm. So if I'm looking at this watch list of these stocks in this space, I like Moderna the most. Let's go take a look at their graphs, starting with Moderna, put on three month graph, a little bit of a pullback on Moderna, couple of levels of support, last level of support sitting at 102.77, bouncing off of that, now above the 20 day exponential moving average, could be on its way back up, right at a level of resistance sitting at 129.16. Relative timing tells me the stock's in an uptrend. Love the earnings growth. Love the earnings per share. And I still, I still think that if there's any variations in the virus, Moderna is well-suited to adapt to that the fastest. Let's go to the next stock, BNTX, which is partnered up with Pfizer. Uh, did pull back, found the level of support, and now clearly above the 20-day exponential moving average, but doing a little bit of a sideways mumbo right now. If you're in it, leave it alone. See if the stock's price at 20 day exponential moving average will hold. Stock's RT just went above one. Good earnings per share, good earnings growth rate. All right, so I do like it. Just a little bit of a pullback right there. Let's look at CureVac uh, matching up with Bayer. Did pull back below the 20 day, found the level of the floor, bouncing above it, but right now, skirting right with it skirting right so the news even though the news is good about it the stock is moving a tad bit sideways this is the reason why we don't just listen to the news we use the analysis within the vector vest software and then we use a graph to visually help us with that on a daily basis all right um and let's go to the next one pfizer pfizer is the weaker one of all of them even though this was the first one to come out with a virus uh with not the virus with the vaccination interesting huh so even though we know that it should be good when i get the analysis and i look at it i find that there's other stocks in this space that i'd feel a little bit more comfortable with and that's important that's why analysis is so important hey if you like this content, guess what? You can join us live every Thursday at 2 p.m. here on YouTube. Join VV Nation. We hope to see you there.